All right, so are you ready to dive into this K-drama finale with me? Oh, I am so ready. <laughs> because today, <laughs> Let's do it. we are tackling Love Next Door, okay. like, the finale. Yeah. And we have got a really interesting <laughs> review Okay. from the World Wonders Drama blog. All right. And we're going to unpack it, but... Um, I'm ready. You know how sometimes these K-dramas, they kind of have those twists and turns? Yes. That even, I think the writers are like, whoa, where are we going? Exactly. Uh, so... I am excited. What is this show about? I haven't seen it. Tell me everything I need to know. Oh, okay. So this one, okay. this one's really good. And this is, I think, for, you know, people who are maybe new to K-dramas. Okay. This is a good one, like, to start with. What? Just to kind of, like, get your feet wet. All right. Because it is, you know, it's got that classic, that <laughs> classic childhood friends to lovers setup. Ah, uh, the classic. And But they sprinkle in a lot, like, a lot of family drama. Okay. So. All right. I'm down. Yeah, think like warm, fuzzy feelings, mm. but then also like a little bit on the side of like, are they ever going to get together? Oh, I love that. The tension. It's good. It's good. And the reviewer really captured it. Okay. Because, you know, they were happy with like, they were happy with how it wrapped up. Okay. But they were kind of left feeling. So it's a happy ending. Yeah. It's a happy ending, but. Kind of like, okay. But with a but. Yeah, with a but. Okay. Kind of like biting into a cake. Okay. And it looks amazing. Uh -huh. But you're like, yeah. wait a second. like It's missing something. Yeah. Is there, like, not enough frosting? What's happening here? It's missing, like, half the frosting. Yes. And you're not mad. Right. But you're just, like, ugh. You're a tad disappointed. Yes. Okay. I get it. Yeah. And the reviewer even called it out. They were like, this is emotionally lacking. Ooh, emotionally lacking. They said that. I like it. I mean, I don't like it, obviously, because it's disappointing if something's emotionally lacking. Right. But that's such an interesting thing because it does make you think like, okay, what is it then? Right. What makes a satisfying ending? I mean, yeah. it's not just about the happily ever after. It's a journey. Yes. It's, did we earn this? Yeah. Did we earn this happy ending? Or did the writers just kind of give it to us and be like, here you go. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Like in those action movies yeah. where the hero... Like, survives all these explosions. Totally. They walk away totally fine. And you're like, okay, how? And you're like, come on, I'm not buying it. Give me a break here. Yeah, like, throw me a bone. Exactly. Yeah. Throw us a bone, writers. And it seems like Love Next Door is, like, struggling a little bit yes. with that believability, yeah. you know? And for instance, think about how everyone reacted yes. when the main couple finally, finally gets together. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. And the families are just... The reviewer even quotes this line. They're like, I still don't buy the fact that neither set of parents ever saw this coming. Oh, my God. Like, uh, what? Yes. Were we watching the same show, people? Right. All of that buildup. Yes. All those all of... kisses, almost confessions. Yes. And suddenly everyone's cool with it. Everyone is a okay with this. It's fine. Even for a K-drama? Yeah. That's a stretch. Yeah, it's a little bit of a stretch. Right. It is. It's a little much. But you know what? It does make me think. Because, like, that is such an interesting paradox with K-dramas. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because they're masters of emotional complexity. Yes. But then there are these logic leaps, Puck you know, <laughs> to keep the drama, like, ramped up. So you're saying sometimes the <laughs> drama outweighs... Like, like realism. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, we need to keep this drama at an 11. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we're going to do what we need to do to get it there. Yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. sometimes that looks like suspending our disbelief a little bit, you know? Yeah. We're going to sacrifice a little realism for the sake of the drama. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know, like, it's a balancing act. It's finding that right balance. Because if we go too far yeah, okay. in one direction, okay. viewers are going to feel disoriented. Okay. Like, wait, what's happening here? <laughs> like, see her crew in Love Next Door. Like, one minute, oh, yes. she can't even boil water. And the next minute, yeah. she's running a whole restaurant Bro. by herself. Okay, wait. Let's unpack that a little bit. Because I was waiting for, like, yes. Gordon Ramsay to, yeah. like, come out to just burst through a wall like what is happening in this kitchen i know yes because after all that chaos with her and cooking yes all the culinary chaos and now she's like yeah i got this i'm running this place i'm a chef now watch me <laughs> i was like what and it's so funny i know it's almost comical yeah it's almost comical but you know what's so funny is that even in all of that okay it's those small details okay that really resonate with viewers. Like the reviewer even points out, like 
Siokri's silver hair clip, which yeah. she always wears. Someone noticed that. They noticed it. Wow. Okay. That's see, this is why I love these deep dives. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would never have picked up on that. Yes, exactly. It's like those small little details. That, like the little thing. That you wouldn't notice otherwise. Yeah. That you would totally miss. Wow, that's cool. But it just adds this like layer of authenticity. Okay. You know, it makes us really love those characters. It's All like right. we're getting this like little peek behind the curtain okay it's like hey even amidst this crazy drama that's happening life still goes on fashion choices still matter okay but speaking of those little things mm -hmm. like can we talk about the fact that the reviewer was like baffled by both couples Oh, yeah. Putting their happiness on hold. Yeah. For like the craziest reasons. Yes. Yeah. Like what is happening? Well, you know, they got to have that like <laughs> obstacle course of love yes. that they got to go through to get to the happy ending. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Wow. The classic K-drama trope. Yes, exactly. Okay. One of them is in Antarctica. Yeah. Antarctica. I mean, really. <laughs> Antarctica. <laughs> like I thought penguins were romantic, oh. not relationship blockers. Right. <laughs> but. Like, okay. And then the other one's like. Oh, I have this, like, undefined personal goal. Yes. Okay, but, like, what is it? Right. We don't We don't really know. We're not really sure, but it's very important. It's very important, but it's, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So this is, like, a theme, though, that, like, female characters, they have to, like, yes. earn their happy ending by achieving something outside of their relationship. Yes. That is, like, it, it's not just a K-drama thing. Okay. It's, like, in a lot of romantic narratives... Yeah. It's this idea that, like, a woman can't have it all. Okay. Right. Okay. Like, she can't have love and a fulfilling career. Right. So it's like she has to prove herself okay. by doing something else first. So it's like the universe is like, okay, so you want to be, like, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> astrophysicist. Yes. Cool, but first you have to go save the rainforest. Yes. You have to single-handedly save the rainforest. Then you can find love. And then... Yeah, you can have a boyfriend. Right. I mean, it's like, okay. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's a little outdated. Like, Right. It feels a little outdated. It does. Like, it's 2024. Let's right. get it together, people. Right? It's like, you can have- Adult both. Like, it's fine. And the reviewer calls it out, too. Yeah, yeah. They're just like, it sends like a weird message. It, it really does. Yeah. Are we empowering female characters or are we like reinforcing like these limited beliefs right. about what women can and cannot have? Exactly. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. And especially when it's like so arbitrary, like Antarctica. <laughs> like what? Like it's so random. Why not? Like if you're going to put a pin in a map and just be like, that's where love has to wait. Yeah. Like to pew somewhere better. Something like believable. Right. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, okay, we get it. You want to add drama, yes. but, like, do it in a way that makes sense. Yes, that tracks. Exactly. Yeah. That tracks. Oh, my gosh. Well, speaking of things that don't track. Yes. A 10-month time jump. Oh, my goodness. The time jump. Okay. Classic K-drama move. Yes. It's like, bam, we're in the future now. Like, fast forward, what happened? I don't know. Oh. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Like, fill in the blanks, I guess. We're just... We just skipped over all of that, like know. all the good stuff, and now we're here. So yeah, deal with it. And you're supposed to believe that everybody just like everyone's happy, lived happily ever after. Okay, right? Like we don't need to see that part. Oh my goodness. We don't need to see how they got there. Okay. But we know, we know. <laughs> we're just supposed to assume that they're thriving. Right. Which is, you know, it's it can be effective. Yes. But also, like. What happened? But also, it's like, I have questions. Yes. I have so many questions. Like, what happened? Yeah. How did we get here? Like, are they still together? Exactly. I need to know. Like, uh. did they actually get married? <laughs> did they open that bakery? Yes. Like, what's happened? What's going on? Oh, my goodness. But it's so funny because you look at the comment section of this blog post. Okay. And it's like, so all over the place like some people yeah. love it they're like this is amazing oh okay. this is like the best ending okay and other people are like wait but i have questions what about so and so i need to know more right and it's so funny because even yeah. like within the comments people are praising like this final scene yes with yeah. the mother and daughter yeah. which i thought was like a little cheesy but Okay. Yeah. And other people were like, the French accents were terrible. <laughs> oh, the French accents, yeah. Like, okay, first of all, of course. why are we speaking French? There always has to be someone I know. who speaks another language in a K-drama. 
<laughs> like, what is happening? I don't know why that is a thing, but it's always a thing. It's always a thing. It's always happening. I know. But it just goes to show okay. everybody experiences these stories in such different ways. Yes. It's true. That it's like everybody brings their own baggage to these stories. That's in the loop. And like their own, like what they want to see. Yeah. So it's interesting that yeah. like, you know, we can all watch the same show. Totally. Have very different takeaways. Yes. And I think that's what's kind of happening here with Love Next Door. Yeah, I think that's a great way to put it. Like, it delivers on those, like, feel-good romantic moments. Right. But those emotionally satisfying moments, like we were talking yeah. about, maybe those weren't totally earned. Yeah, like, they kind of just, like, skimmed over that part. They did. They were like, we're just going to skip, like, ten steps. <laughs> right. And get to the part where everybody's in love. It's like ordering that gourmet meal. Okay. Based on the pictures. Yeah. And you're like, oh, this looks amazing. And yeah. you taste it. And you're like, and you're like, it's not bad. It's not bad. But, like... I don't know. Yeah. Maybe I should have just gotten, like, tacos. I should have gone with my gut. Right, exactly. I should have gotten the tacos. Like, it's fine. Yeah. But maybe not what you were hoping for. It's not what you were expecting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think, like, that brings us to this interesting question about, okay. you know, what we want yes. from these romantic dramas, especially in a genre like K-drama, which is so romanticized. Right. Do we want it to be, like, real life oh or do we want it to be like an escape from real life okay you know Ooh, that's good because sometimes yeah. real life is messy and we don't want to see that right we want to see like the fantasy the fantasy we want to see the idealized version of love and relationships yeah yeah i like that right so it's like are we looking for a mirror yes or are we looking for like an escape yes exactly that's a great way to put it and it really, I feel like, depends on your mood. I think so, too. Like, sometimes you just want, yes, like, the happy, and it's fine. The fluff. Yeah. You just want, like, to relax and watch something that's going to make you feel good. Yeah. And sometimes you're like, no, I'm ready. Bring on the drama. Yes. I want to think. I want to analyze. Right. And that's the beauty of storytelling. That's There's something for everyone. There is. That's what we're always looking for, right? Something that resonates. Exactly. So, tell us, did Love Next Door resonate with you? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you confused? Were you baffled by the time jump? Give us all your thoughts. Yes. Head over to our comments section. Let's keep this conversation going because we love to hear what you think. Absolutely. And until next time. Happy watching. Happy watching.